<laughs> round game. We in this in this thing. I say up uh, round uh, uh, game. We in this in this thing. I say up uh, round uh, uh, game. We in this in this thing. I say up uh, round uh, uh, game. We in this in this thing. I say uh. What you doing if you ain't looking for no Aries? We stay turned up. We be talking about them Aries. Gang, gang. We be turned up for Aries. What you doing if you ain't looking for no Aries? Turn up. Gang, gang, gang. We them Aries. Crank it. Stop it. Turn up. Turn up. We them Aries. Happy Valentine's Day to you Aries. Crank it, pop that, turn up, turn up over Aries. What's up, baby? What's up, gang, gang? It's going down in the life of a realm between the 15th and the 28th of February. <laughs> we afraid to take leaps? Say it with your motherfucking chest. I'm Aries. Gang, gang. Welcome to the Mocha Little Tarot channel. If it's your first time viewing my channel. Hey, boo, hey. I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time viewing my channel, look out. I cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader on YouTube that can better assist you without <laughs> cussing because I'm going to do that. Um, also, to my new subscribers, welcome to the family, you guys. We don't fight. We don't fuss here. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuss. We love. We enlighten. We grow. We share. We evolve, okay? Positive vibes only. To my returning subscribers, to my subturning, to my returning family members. You guys, this has been a hell of a month. Let me say, I know y'all was like, Mocha, I thought you moved. I did. What had happened was, bitch, I had to jump off the cliff and choose myself, choose my happiness, and really choose my sanity. You understand? Because sanity, what I learned, to be honest, and I'm grateful, Peace and time, self-worth is expensive. And I've come too far to look backwards, okay? So I'm appreciative, you know, for all of the opportunities. Y'all know we family, so I'm going always share. I'm transparent as fuck, you know? So on this day, this kid is single, but guess what? I'm going to go out and create my baddest motherfucker Cinderella story. Do you understand me? And for those single Aries, I suggest that you do the same, all right? Um, this will be for my Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the cross watches for the sign of Aries. This will or wouldn't, this will not resonate with everybody. Take what does, leave the rest, okay? This is not a personal reading. If you need that, it's in the description box, and we going to roll them, roll them, roll them. Thank you so much for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, you guys, the comments. I appreciate all of it. We didn't grew so fucking much that y'all are Aries. Of y are y'all going to sit up and answer 346, 247 comments? <laughs> I ain't think so. Some of you guys, because <laughs> you guys, we have, if you're Aries, you know we have things to do. I'm an Aries as well. You know, we we on a move right now. We have things to do. Things are shaking up. We're having tire moments. We're kind of being forced off the cliff, some of us. And don't look at it as if it's happening to you before you. And to be honest with you, intuitively, you already knew it was coming. So what you tripping for? You chose to, to stand still and God chose to push your ass off. And just know, trust in me. God is saying to my Aries, will you trust me? Okay. So without further ado, let's get it. All right. So we're going to start off with the intuitive messages that I picked up for you all. Well, for us, okay, for the 15th to the 28th of uh, February, what I received for Aries was trusting, faith moves, gratitude, self-value, apologies, forgiveness, synchroni synchronistic, spiritual teacher, sensual, Karmic returns, retrograde, new endeavors, pride, endings, new love, power couple, prosperity, abundance, independence, fear of failure, compassion, rebirth, forward movement. Y'all, why well, I couldn't understand some of my damn handwriting? Y'all see what y'all made me do for everybody who be talking shit? Mother, what you be? I be busy tuning in to y'all shit, our shit, every the weeds of us shit, okay? Because y'all, it's just been crazy. 
All right, so the angel message that you guys received was victory, victory, snap fingers, man. That's probably why I wanted to get my fairy nails because I was feeling victorious, all right? Your message comes from Archangel Sandoval. Your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. Okay, so you've already manifested the path that is for you, okay? It's time for you to be real with yourself, for truth and, you know, for truth and revelations to come out. So that you can be so that you can really make the right choice. And ultimately, a lot of you all are going to see that you're going to end up having to choose our power, our superpower, the self. OK. So for my Aries, the overall energy around the reading is the Ace of Swords, truth, clarity, so that we can release purge. OK. All right, so some of you all during this time, during this mid half of February, some of you all may be focusing on your craft. Some of you all may also be um, researching subjects around your spirituality, researching um, ways to protect yourself energetically. Some of you all, for those of you who work with the element of water, who do some form of water magic or manifest um, with like cups of water. Why, there are, yeah, people like, you manifest water? Yes, many YouTube videos other than tarot videos. And that's another thing. You guys are really needed to break away from others, peop, other people's energies during this time. You know, really home, take take stock into your own energy and protection, detoxif detoxification, cleansing, okay? And some of you all may be researching that during this time, learning how to ground yourself. Uh, it will be very helpful. Some of you all really need to... Um, Really need uh, if you use amethyst crystals during this time, that's going to help you with manifestation as well. Watch your thoughts, watch your words. Aries, they're manifesting at a very quick rate. So if you're thinking, okay, negative shit is going to happen, chances are you're manifesting that, so you're able to see uh, within your reality what it is that you're pushing forth. And some of you all are re really realizing uh, it really started the first half of February, but during this time you're like, shit, I literally just thought that shit, and it's just. Yes, we are the motherfucking empress. We're spiritual teachers. You have to live it in order to be able to teach it. So some of you all are taking stock of your past and really grounding yourself and learning that you really hold the power to your happiness, your abundance, you know, um, your material, your material. Uh, and for some of you all, your spiritual mindset, and for some of you all, your material gains and things of that nature. If you think lack, then you have, then you're going to have lack. You know, some of you all, again. Some of you all could have possibly or could be possibly moving away from someone, just really literally taking up, taking what you have, little that you have and moving forward. And this was a part of a soul contract. So get out of that energy of remorsefulness or what what could I have done? OK, for some of you all, you're moving away from being so fixed or fixated within your ways of allowing someone to take your power or for that matter, make you feel as if you're doing something wrong or make you feel as if um, you're the problem. OK, um, for some of you all, you could be in a place of just reflecting. Ironically, I felt to come to you guys on today, Valentine's Day. Some of you all may be kind of going over. Um, some of y'all could also be moving. Some of you guys don't really realize that moving forward was a part of that soul contract. And I feel like your dreams, OK, your dreams will be very, very, very revealing during this time. Some of us have a massive download coming around the third week of the month. And so I do see for those of you who use amethyst, we're going to have a major crown chakra activation um, for those of you who are who connect to water goddesses. All right. Um, there is some type of revelation coming to you, possibly in the shower. Some of you all could also be learning that you have shamanic or some type of um, native roots connected to healing. And some of you all are in this place, especially if you have that fixed energy in your chart, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, um, Aquarius. I feel that some of you all are really knowing what it is that you need to do. However, it's going to um, kind of force you into having a bit more faith than what you have. And and to be honest, I'm seeing that it makes you uncomfortable, but you're really needing to ground yourself and really focus on your energy and the energy that you're putting out, because it does have to do with the energy that you're receiving. A lot of you all need to move away from being so fixed in your ways or fixated on the way that you're used to doing things and really be more optimistic when it comes to embracing your spirituality. Some of you all have traditional ties like church. Some of you all could be preachers, kids, PKs, preachers, kids. OK, 
for example, however, you have the ability um, to assist others with um, assist others with closure when it comes to mediumship. Some of you all have the ability to heal with using crystals as well as um, herbal um, herbal holistic measures. OK, some of you all um, have the ability to literally cast out love spells that can assist others. However, you are just worried about and this is someone this, I'm speaking to the Aries who have fixed fixed energies within their chart. Some of you are having to move away from your perception of things in, in which you know to be true because it was our projections of what other people have told you was right. And some of you all are really seeing things from a different perspective, a new hindsight, a new, a new, um, a new vision, I'd say, during this time when it comes to your spirituality and you really need to trust yourself and jump off the cliff and not be afraid. People, you're going to have naysayers regardless. As many, I help thousands and thousands of people and there's still people who talk shit and be like, you a witch. Well, bitch, make sure you put queen witch on that, empress witch on that shit, bitch, because you wouldn't say this shit to my face. In my face, you're going to say, oh my God, you're that girl from, yeah. But on this internet behind these uh, behind this keyboard, you a bad bitch. Try me, okay? And so some of you all, you're really needing to stand in your truth, stand in your powers, really set clear boundaries, and really protect your energy because some of you all have an invader. Spirit is an invader. Some of you all have people in your energy that is feeding off of your energy. However, they're feeding into it. They're feeding off of it, but they're feeding into it fear, uh, rejection, abandonment. And you're questioning yourself. And it's like you're just waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting on something to happen. And spirit is saying the reason why you're uncomfortable and in this bad place while you're waiting is because it's a part of this soul contract, baby. It's time to move. Cycles are going to end whether you try and hold on to them or not. The choice is yours. If it's comfortable or uncomfortable, because you're going to leave situations voluntarily or involuntarily. If they ain't with the, if they ain't with spirit train, baby, it's time to get, if they ain't with the ride of spirit, it's time to put their ass off your bus. Okay. Some of you all really need to accept. I'm going to go there. Just like people come into your life as karma. Know that in this, in this soul contract that you agreed upon, some of you all agree to come in people's life as learning lessons, as karma. Karma can be good or bad. It's how you perceive it. If you perceive it to only hold on to the hurt, then you won't really see the lesson in between in, in, the, in between the lines that is trying to assist you going forward on your path. If you've already dealt with it, if you've seen 16 snakes, the first thing that you can fucking identify while you in your winning while you in your winning in your winning season is a snake. A snake is a snake is a snake. And Spirit is saying, stop taking everything so personal, Aries. You never know who God uses to tell you certain things. Be open. Be receptive during this time. Not passively aggressive or, for that matter, um, resistant. Pushing people away. Because some of you all are really being stubborn. And I'm an Aries, so I can say that. Because you know I know you're stubborn if don't nobody else know you're stubborn. And guess what? I love you for it, the good, the bad, the ugly. True love is unconditional. It's not here to change you. It's not here to give you ultimatums. It's not here to try to control you. It's not here to be possessive. It's not here for that. It's here for you to learn from it, to learn that, that duality. And for some of you all, it's being able to embrace that duality, but knowing when it's time to go. Reasons and seasons, people. Okay? So let's get it. I just did cancer, and I don't want to run out of time with Aries. I'm going to do your spread a bit different so I can make sure I touch on everybody's teeth, okay? So, Spirit, what messages do you have for my Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, in love for February the 15th to the 28th. For my Aries dealing with fixed signs, um, because they are really wanting me to touch on this fixed energy um, or may have it in their chart. Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius. For my Aries dealing with fixed signs, what can they expect? Okay. For some of you all, where things have been stagnant or things have been not moving or forward movement, with no forward movement, some of you guys, some of y'all have, <laughs> some of y'all are really needing to make a decision and really move forward on it, okay, when it pertains to a soulmate, to new love, okay. For some of you all, there is someone coming in quickly uh, that's trying to give you this Ace of Cups that really, really, really wants to share that love with you, however, 
kind of be aware and make sure that you ask this person the right questions because I do see that offer is on the table. However, you or the other person may have commitment issues or may be afraid um, due to a recent breakup or not really being able to fully release the past. OK, I definitely feel like you're going into a new cycle in your life. All right. And it's going to be a very prosperous one, Aries, but it's also going to be one that is going to a lot that's going to really kind of force you to end life cycles. For those of you who have been unstable or had some type of financial troubles or financial difficulties in the past, okay, I definitely feel like you're coming into a prosperous time during this time. You're coming into stability. And for some of you all, you're needing to end a cycle in order to begin a cycle in order to gain that stability. So spirit is saying you know what to do. You really need to make the decision and stop sitting on it because you are a spiritual teacher. It's a part of your learning curve in order for you to assist others through your leading the way, through your action, through your pushing through. OK, so for some of you all, you really need to release the burden. You're going to be releasing the burden of situation, moving away from someone, possibly a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could also be some of y'all have to choose between. Um, a fire sign from the past, Aries, Leo, Sash. This could be the mother or father of your children, I'm hearing. But I also feel that this person is coming through. You have two paths. You can offer a cup of love to this person and go into a new cycle, one that's stable, okay? Because you and this other person could have possibly recently gone to transformation, all right? Or I definitely feel that some of you all have the option of new love in the form of a water sign. However, you really need to um, shift the way that you look at commitments move away from um, the fears around it in order to get the, sta the stable offer that you want. I feel that some of you all happen to, if you're dealing with fixed signs, I do see a lot of moving away, indecisiveness. Someone possibly has uh, rejection issues or issues with letting go of the past that is preventing this from being a solid issue. I mean, a, a solid, a solid union. Yeah. For some of you all, you're dealing with the fixed sign who definitely has internal conflict. They have abandonment issues. They have a fear of giving you that commitment that you want because they're afraid that you may leave. For some of you all, those of you who are dealing with the sign of Taurus, I feel that some of you all, you're very passionate about this person. Some of you all could actually be moving to a new form of commitment with this person, actually starting something new. Some of y'all could be finding out that you're pregnant, possibly by a fixed sign. Strong emphasis on Taurus and Leo. Yeah. But I definitely feel a moving forward. Some of y'all could also be moving forward away from a commitment, possibly due to um, some form of infidelity that you could be finding that finding out about during this time. If you're dealing with the fixed sign and I feel like it was only a catalyst situation to make you move forward, to make you jump off of that cliff. And I feel like for some of you, yeah, catalyst situation to make you move forward and really focus on your finances, focus on your money, focus on building your prosperity, focus on living your purpose, learning from the situation and truly, truly, truly allowing yourself to heal from it. Because I feel like if you're dealing with the fixed sign right now, for some of you all, they want you to not do the same thing over and over again and jump from relationship to relationship without healing and focusing on your security, your stability within self. Do not be distracted. Okay. All right, so let's get it. I'm trying to move, y'all, because I don't want these damn videos to be 40 minutes. Who got time for that? Okay, so let's get it. All right. Thank you. I got to shuffle this way. Spirit. Show me what it is that I'm needing to see for my babies in love. Dealing with mutable signs. Sagittarius, Virgo, Gemini, Pisces, in love, indecisiveness, you're needing to make a decision. For some of you all, you're internally conflicted, yet you're not speaking. You are this other person. I definitely feel like during this time, there is going to be some truth and clarity expressed. And I feel like for some of you all, yeah. Aries, this could be you speaking the truth, okay? I definitely feel like it could also be you that's internally conflicted, possibly regarding making a decision, okay? And making a decision really to be real with your damn self, all right? What is it that you want, Aries? Do you want what it is that your partner wants? Does your partner want that commitment that you want? For some of you all, there's truth and clarity or truth about a third-party situation that will be surfaced, okay? Um, this could be involving the mother or father of your children as well. I definitely feel like um, you're releasing your burdens, you're releasing your burdens around third party energy. If you're dealing with the mutable sign, I feel like for some of you all, you could be walking away from the situation. 
Okay, this could definitely have to do with new love being on the horizon. For some of you all, you're holding on to that fear of accepting new love. You're holding on to that fear around commitment due to you holding on to someone's residual energy from the past. For some of you all, there is a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This could be the Pisces. If you're dealing with Pisces, this person could want commitment. However, there's still a sense of third party energy, Aries. This could be you just focusing on um, your finances and really focusing on the things externally. Yeah. And I do see for some of you all, some of you all are moving away. Some of y'all are internally conflict about reconciling with the twin flame, reconciling with the past life lover who you could have possibly possibly been committed to in the past life. You could possibly have children with this person. This person could be coming back and reconcile, trying to reconcile with you or actually rectify and end, give clarity to end a third part. End any type of confusion that was around the third party situation. OK, this could have to do with the Gemini. This could have to do with the Sagittarius, Pisces, the Virgo. But I definitely feel like for some of you all, this could have to do with the twin flame. But things are ending in order for true love to blossom and to balance things out, to balance things out in your external so that your internal can truly, truly, truly heal to give you the clarity that you need in order to be victorious moving forward. For some of you all, you've been in, in your damn head about a Gemini, possibly. Yeah, some of y'all are dealing with somebody who have accountability issues, okay? And with you standing up and speaking your truth and setting your boundaries, this person still needs to heal in order for things to move forward, okay? So I do see some of you all, the outcome is you moving away from that situation, being real with yourself to know this can't, this can't assist me in growing. I can't grow from this. So it's time to move forward, okay? Some of you all are learning the lesson. Seeing your blessing, learning the lesson, and thanking spirit for dodging a bullet for some of y'all. Because some of y'all, you're going to find out that someone is still juggling. They still got that damn third party energy on them. Okay? All right. So my Aries who are dealing with cardinal signs, Capricorn, Libra, another Aries, or Cancer. Spirit, what messages do you have in love for my Aries dealing with cardinal signs? Thank you. Yeah, for some of you all, you could be possibly working working on a relationship, working on your um, working on a commitment, or just possibly focused on your money. For some of you all, you could be attached to someone. Some y'all have. So if you're dealing with a cardinal sign, I feel like the both of you are working on your working on your finances, working on your craft. Some y'all, you could be dealing with a Capricorn who focuses on work, or some of you all are building on a relationship, possibly where there was no communication, or someone could have said something to hurt your feelings, and they're trying to make it up to you during this time because they feel abandoned. They feel as if, you know, you cut them out of your energy. Some of y'all could be actually leaving a damn Capricorn out in the cold, cutting this person off, and I feel like you're just going to focus on your prosperity, focus on whatever it is that you've been trying to create. Yeah. Some of you all, this person actually is going to be coming back and communicating that they actually want to put the work in to um, to have that commitment to have that commitment with you. For some of you all, you've been patiently waiting, okay, for this person to be ready to put the work in, all right. And I definitely feel like for some of you all, you're going to be reconciling with this person because I feel that for some of you all, there was a pride issue. There needed to be an ego death, and when you cut this person off and cut the attachment off. This person really kind of felt a bit empty, whether they express it or not. So they're wanting to come in and express their love. However, they're praying that you're going to be open, <laughs> open to receiving them as far as the reconciliation. Some of y'all, this is a uh, period saying some of y'all could be also reconciling with the Sagittarius to balance things out. But you're definitely standing in your power. You're definitely standing in your strong suit. You're standing in your empress creative energy. You're moving forward, okay? I do see victory with moving forward if you're dealing with the cardinal sign. I definitely feel that someone definitely has to adapt adapt this sense of patience in order for you got for the reconciliation to be um for the reconciliation to be prosperous. And I feel like for some of you all, you're really all in your head about it. Are you overthinking things? And you're like, it's like a self-fulfilling prophecy, all right? Thank you, spirit. <laughs> Everything else closed off itself with this damn four swords. There will be healing to a situation, okay? Closure, healing to overthinking things. Some of you all are looking at things from a different perspective. And when you do and you shift your thoughts and you shift 
those emotions that you feel. If you claim lack, then so be it. So if you claim dysfunction, then you're going to have dysfunction. Spirit is saying gain a different perspective to look at things from a compassionate, from a compassionate yet compromising way. Not self-sacrificing, but compromising in order for you to get your ten of pentacles and for things to actually move forward. For some of you all, you're kind of in this energy of um, this eight of swords. You know, you're in the energy of kind of overthinking things, to be honest with you. And if you just truly go with the flow, be the waters during this time and truly see things from an understanding place, spirit is saying there's victory moving forward, possibly with someone in the past. Okay. This could also be another, uh, this could be another Aries. This could also be the sign of Virgo, but there's definitely going to be healing coming to a soulmate relationship. All right. So I love you all. This is what I have for my Aries <laughs> between the 15th and the 28th of February. You guys, if you need that personal reading, hit me up. Love y'all. Namaste, babies.